Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, hello and welcome to a surprise. <laughs> uh, I unfortunately did not get to do a stream for my Twitch anniversary. Hey, streaming for two years. I'm hoping I have brought you all some decent entertainment. So. I decided I'm going to do a late celebration tonight with the debut of a game I have been wanting to show off for a while. Wild Arms, Alter Code F. So tonight is going to be very short. Uh, I'm basically just going to cover the introduction of the game. They can be relatively short, but uh, uh, that's the general premise that we're going for today, or tonight. And we'll see where this goes. We'll see how often I can uh, keep this in rotation. So, hello, Chibi. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up Discord. And I shall pop in there. If anyone so desires to join me, you are welcome. Uh, if you're not feeling up for it, that is entirely up to you. But this oh. so now if you notice the title of this episode ugh, it has been labeled as prologues or preludes and prologues I actually kind of forgot that there is a opening sequence here before the title screen that actually gives you a little bit of a prelude, and Rain may actually get kind of a, a chuckle out of this. Uh, we'll see, but we're going to show that, and then I'm going to try and cover the prologues. They can be kind of short, some that can be long, depending on how I play it. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to try and do that for tonight, as a celebration of two years of streaming. <laughs> so, this is my way to celebrate, and I hope you all are still entertained so let's go ahead and check out the pro uh, the prelude So we got a castle burning, guys running, dual wielder, awesome. <laughs> oh god, it's the guy's elevator. I'm exhausted. Can't we slow down? I'm afraid not, sir. We have no other option but to run since we're in the dark of the dark. Federal Knights, our duty is to protect the king. Preposterous! Now that my brother has fallen, I am the king! Listen, Coldbird, with or without a coronation ceremony, I am the king! <laughs> You're nothing without our help. Just try and get out of here on your own. Silence, Garrett. We are in the presence of the king. You are to serve his majesty. Bravo, Fenril Knights! Bravo! Those creatures never had a chance! Surprise attack in this snowstorm? Maybe they're after... Commander Coldbird, maybe the demons are after the Ark! The Ark? It's a possibility. Do you think the Ark is worth something to them, Rain? Or Ryan? <laughs> what?! They came to get my Ark?! No, Coldbird! Do not let them take it! They'll use it for no good! What a relief. The Ark is safe. Elmina, your leg. <laughs> My nickname's supposed to be the Sword Princess, right? Anyhow, Commander, 
Was the rest of the group? Yes. Look, it's the umbrellas. <laughs> Who could take down a knight so easily? Nonsense! The demons were destroyed a long time ago! And yet, here I am, right in front of you. But I'm afraid I simply don't have time for this nonsense. Let's get down to business. I'm here to ask you for an object which you call the Ark. Yes! By all means! Go ahead and take it! Take anything you wish! Just please! Spare my life! No, your majesty. You must not do that. I'm sorry. All I can give you in return is a painless death. You will have to live with it. <laughs> you bastard! How could you? Garrett, Romina, get ready. You must escape from Antarctica Castle. Let everyone in Philgaia know what has happened here. Oh god, the commander. I'm sure the demon took down the others as well. Hey, Garrett. You're a bigger coward than I thought. Huh? What are you talking about? Why are you calling me a coward? You have no courage. You're probably thinking of a way to defeat the demon even now, aren't you? Of course! No matter what it takes, I'll kill that thing! So, you call throwing your life away courage? We will not be able to defeat them yet. I know it's hard to admit. Look at your terrible wound. It's not as bad as yours, Elamina. I won't hear of it. You think that fighting an unbeatable enemy is courage? I don't agree with that. Then what do you consider the brave thing to do? <laughs> I hate to interrupt your tender moment. Run, Garrett! Elmina! I can't get away with this wound. Open the gate! Elmina! You're the one who said wasting your life is not courage! We gain nothing from fighting the demon. I fight to protect something important to me. I won't gain anything, but I will not lose anything. We gain nothing from violence, but I can at least protect what's mine. Protecting something important is not a waste of life. Garrett, I don't want to lose you. Who are you? Open the gates, Elmina! I'll fight with you! Open the gates, Elmina! You must tell the world what has happened here. Don't worry about me. I have no intention of dying here. I'm the Sword Princess, remember? Besides, the ribbon I wrapped around your arm was expensive. I can't die until I get that back. There you are. It was not easy finding you. You were the last humans left in the castle. It's your turn to die now. Have courage. Go on, Garrett, and take this memory with you. Deliver the Fenrir Spear to our friends. Run, Garrett! I will return the ribbon to you soon. Keep running. Don't look back! <laughs> There's no way out. <laughs> you are noble and beautiful. Can't 
Can't you see? My body is trembling with joy. few years later, the game begins. Welcome to Wild Arms Alter Code F. And here we go. Shibby, oh. are you still here? Everyone again. Oh, we've arrived early, didn't we? It was because my lady rushed me. What? Is being early a bad thing? He's not blaming you. Anyway, it should be any time now. Look, someone's coming. Speak of the devil. You know, that's a dumb saying. Ahoy! Prologue 1, A Boy Traveling Alone. The world has become a wasteland. The beautiful green of the globe has faded gradually to brown. Vilgaia. have banded together for survival, uniting to fend off the harsh elements and the menace of monsters. Those few who seek travel, who travel the weathered world seeking adventure are called wanderers. A young wanderer staying at some village in the frontier. Though he looks quite young, he is skilled beyond his years. What does the young wanderer seek traveling the world alone? Hey! You can finish up now! Thank you very much! The ranch looks twice as big now that you've cleaned it. Ha! 
hired you through our village chief, but I didn't expect you to work so hard. Uh, I still don't know your name. I keep calling you boy. Tell me, what's your name? Okay, then Strife is what I'll call you. That's a good, strong name. You're a great guy, Strife. You have power and a tireless work ethic. Best of all, you took care of my horses as though you understand their feelings. Why don't you stay in this village and work for us? I'm kidding, I know you're a wanderer. Here's the payment for your time. It's not much, but it's all I can afford. Obtained item, healing berry. Say hello to the village chief for me. Thank you very much for your work today. I will ask for your help again, I'm sure. Alright, so this is where the game officially picks up. Ah, good old 3D environment. I worked for 20 years in this village. The time needed for plants to bud has been getting longer year after year. I heard from others of the same thing happening to them in other villages. The rumor that this entire world is heading towards destruction may not be a false rumor. My son Tony is a very mischievous boy. I have not seen him since this morning. That's no surprise. Not with the boy as mischievous as him. I can't really keep my eyes on him. I'm forced to stay home with my injury. I'm worried that he might make trouble for others without my knowledge. It's okay, Chibi. I was just messing with you when I said I was hurt. I'm gonna go cry in the corner. I love you. I could never be mad at you, Chibi. Berry. Ow. Thank you for all your hard work. Do you know about holy berries? No, never heard of it. Ha! That's what I thought. Holy berry is a very effective herb, which people says grows in a cave near here. When used, any injury person any injured person can be healed and their strength revived. If only I had a holy berry. No, it's nothing. Never mind. Okay. This may be the only one in the village, but it seems to have ample water. It won't dry up anytime soon. Part of the wall is broken here. You can see inside the building, but you can't squeeze through it. Stable work of one and hard work is welcome. Unfortunately, we can't pay it out. <laughs> Old farming tools are piled up. It seems people don't like to clean here. The ruined back wall has a hole. So we can't get that chest just yet. Once we get a certain character, getting that chest will be a little easier. So we'll be back for that. Oh, hey, Rain, you want to hear something that, uh, you want to hear something that makes this game interesting? That will drive you absolutely batty? 
There is a hidden boss in this game called the Black Box. The only way to fight said Black Box is you have to open every single chest in the game. This village is desolate now, but once it's so once it's old and effective medicinal herb from the berry cave, waste of here. The name of the herb was Holy Berry. It had an amazing power to heal many wounds immediately. The cave was sealed by a village chief and become a dangerous place full of nasty monsters. This village will become rich someday if we can harvest the holy berries again. More heel berries. The lock of the Barnes rusted shut. It hasn't been used in a long time. Hello, Strength. My husband is in his office over there. But you can rest upstairs first if you like. It's getting difficult to cultivate wheat, which is how we make our money. The soil is losing its fertility. I read a book that said the reason the land was ruined is that long ago there was a battle with monsters. The book said many scary things. I tried taking the story with a grain of salt, but I had to stop reading in the middle of it. If you're interested, you can read it. It's titled The World Moves to Wilderness. Look for it in the bookcase upstairs. Our world became a wasteland. Long ago, our world for Gaia was a world filled with greed. Our world became a wasteland because of a great battle fought over a thousand years. The destruction was done by alien invaders, whom we now call demons. Humans, Ew. guardians, all the inhabitants of the world banded together and fought bravely in defense of Gaia. Alas, the impact of the war was tremendous. Many, many people were killed. Fogai itself was left in ruins. In the final battle, destructive power came into our hands. The power was arm. It is said that this power originally came from the demons. In the end, Fogai was victorious, but the price was steep. Thanks to arm, the world lay in ruins. The guardians of Fogai lost the power they once had to hold the world together. The evil disappeared. No one knows where. And the humans, saddened by the devastation, sealed away forever the destructive power of Arm. It had destroyed as much as it protected. The once flourishing civilization of Felgaia was now lost. Since then, demons, guardians, Eul, and Arm were hardly seen again, and Felgaia now is but a barren wasteland. Strife. You seem to be settling in well. I understand that the horses are thriving under your care. There must be something I can give you to show our gratitude. The world is decaying, Strife, even here at Surf Village. Once this village benefited from the herbs we collected from the Berry Cave west of the village. But that was long ago. Forgive me, Strife. Sometimes an old man's mind wanders. 
In the storage area next to this room, you'll find our supply of bombs. We use them to explore the berry cave. Please take them. They are worthless to the village now, but they might be useful to you. Browning Beast and Holy Berries. This is the story as it has been handed down in this village. Once a rotten beast attacked the village, the rotten smell made the air rank and its footprints contaminated the earth. The creature had existed for as long as anyone could remember. An immortal beast, indestructible, even if damaged again and again. Finally, when the vile smell village smelled rotten, a wanderer visited the village and threw a holy berry filled with the brilliance of life with the rotten beast. The body of the monster disappeared in that dazzling light. Only the holy berry remained. The villagers rejoiced and grew the holy berry seeds in a nearby cave. Finally, they raised it into a tree. The cave became known as a berry cave because it was the home of the brilliant life-giving berries. To this day, the holy berry shines deep within its cave, undisturbed. The essence that the holy berry releases is the light of the village's future. The explosive power of the bomb destroys obstacles and opens paths. It's of no use for villagers like us, but for a wanderer like you, it might be useful. Obtained tool, bomb. A bomb can be set at your feet by pressing square. After setting it and allowing time to pass, it breaks items such as wooden boxes or rocks. Also, if you set bombs close to each other, they explode at the same time and can destroy obstacles in a wide area. You can set a maximum of eight bombs. Remember the golden rule about bombs. Location, location, location. Village Chief! Mr. Talman! We've got a serious problem! It's alright. Please continue. Tell me what happened. It's Tony! He broke the village ban! He went to the berry cave! What? Why would he do something so foolish? What should we do? The berry cave used to be the source of a great medicinal herb, but now it's just a den of monsters. I don't know what we should do. In any case, keep it a secret for now, and we'll explain it to the villagers later. We don't want to start a panic. This goes for you, too. You shouldn't tell anyone about Tony breaking the village ban. We don't need anyone running off and playing hero. We need to come up with a plan. The uh, Seth Village residents are prohibited by law from traveling west of the Berry Cave. Even if we change the law, we need the consent of the villagers to do it, and that takes time. There is a saying in this village, even if we could fly, we couldn't fly as free as a wanderer. You know... If that's the case, you really sh you know, shouldn't have given me the bomb. Just saying. Not a subtle way to suggest they need you to take care of their shit. Okay, that don't work. All right, hi ho, hi ho. Let's go do the work that you guys can't. I understand, I understand. Y'all suck, but it's okay. I got you. I got you. The search system seeks undiscovered towns, caves, and so forth. Press the square button to use its radar. Discovered locations are shown as symbols on the screen. It may be entered by facing the place and pressing the X button. Tony appears to have headed for the berry cave to the west of Surf Village. Use the search system to find the berry cave.
Yeah, uh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I found the cave. I found the cave. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Did the village chief speak with you? If he has, then you already know. Still can't believe it. I hope Tony is alright. Turn my back for one second. Under our law, all who live in Surf Village are prohibited from going into this cave. What should we do? I got it. You're not from our village, right? Therefore, you are not bound by our law. Will you risk your life and go into the cave? Please find Tony and bring him back to me. Thank you. I am forever in your debt. This is an advanced payment of your reward. Please take it. Lucky card types three and a migrant seal. You now have one migrant seal. The encounter cancel system is available. When encounter senses a monster, a white exclamation mark appears. Press the circle button when you see the exclamation point on screen to avoid battle. It's quite useful when you're in a hurry. There is no escaping a battle once it starts. Remember that when you avoid a battle, your ENC gauge decreases. Make sure to be careful. Yeah, we're not going to do that, though, because I need to gain some levels. Ow. So it says roughly I want to be about level 6 by the time I get to the end of here. Once famous, the Berry Cave is now abandoned. Keep an eye out for the unknown creatures that roam its dark, treacherous shafts. <laughs> shafts. Got a heel berry. When walking off the edge of a road or a cliff, the character may pause and appear to be balancing on the edge. This means the character can jump off. Press X while balancing to jump. If you are dashing, the character will jump without pausing first. You go! Desperate measures! Ow. Fuck you. Aw, oh, y'all screwed now, son. Survived a crit. Well, I am just a weak little bitch. Bam! Yeah. 
upward thrust. Goodbye. Hey, I made it to level four. Yay! Right, Glimming crystal spirit. When you pick up your orange gen, up your orange gen, your vitality gauge replenishes by ten percent. Instead of following the path, drop off the list to the south, destroy the two crates, and drop down to a treasure chest. From the treasure chest, you can drop down to the bottom level, where you'll see a sign warning you not to go any further. Pull up the sign and continue deeper into the cave. Keep out. Removal of the sign is punishable by law. Okay. So as far as anybody knows, that sign was not removed. It just doesn't exist anymore. So I did not remove it. about your 25 point heal. Well, isn't that just peachy? A mysterious cloudy gem. Pick up white gems to restore one unit of your ENC gauge. Okay, let me double check something here. Just wait, you dick! My turn. Ouchies! Yay! A 
I'm level 5 with 69 HP! Giggity. Maximum penetration. Maximum violation. Right here. Ah, there we go. All right, lucky cards. For the record, for anybody wanting to know what they are. Lucky cards are EXP bonus rate increased by 1%. Press X while next to a ladder and the character will grab the ladder. After you grab the ladder, you use the left analog stick to climb up or down. I don't think this has an auto battle. Oh no, it does. Oh, but you gotta set it up proper. Gibble coin? The player can use one Gibble coin to save data, even in places where there is no memory burden. Also, if the player loses a battle, they can use a Gibble coin to choose whether they want to continue without losing stats. Okay, I think I got it figured out from here. Galacard. So there should 
almost a six, which is the one a good on par level we want to be. Okay, so this should. Got another heal berry, that's good. Need all the healing items we can get early on since I don't have a dedicated healer. Enough for the auto battle. You're still six points shy, which means you're still fucked. That's cool. Oh, and Gela is the amount of money, is uh, money that you acquire in this game. Two more fights, and I should be where I need to be. Watch out, ladder's unsteady. Do not hit it. Oops. your warnings. <laughs> no, I would never think such a thing. I think fisting should be called upper dusting. So close and yet so far. You're teasing me. Don't you know it's not nice to tease people? on fire. He shot me with fireball. I shot him with lead. Or whatever they used. Alright, level 6 and they gained 10 HP points. Oh sweet, another heal berry. Deep within this cave that can heal any injury. 
stuck. I don't know what to do because that huge rock is blocking my path. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to regret this later? Probably because I'm going to regret this later. Because there's a pattern that whenever you do something like this, it always comes back to bite you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. It's amazing! You're awesome! You blew up such a big rock! Now isn't, now isn't the time to be impressed. I must continue looking for medicinal herbs. My father is counting on me. Thank you so much! My father will die without a holy berry. He's gotta get better. He's just gotta. I should get going. We gotta get back and care of my father. It's not good. It's pulsating and glowing red. <laughs> That's never a good thing. It's the village chief! Um. What matter of how beast did you awaken strength? Mm. Well, now. Why do you always act so impulsively? I'm very sorry. I wanted to heal my father. That's why I had to look for Holy Mary. Didn't you think of the possibility of you getting hurt or worse? Tony is back safe because of you. Thank you. Earthquake and heroic rescue on the same day? Tell me. Did you find any holy berries? I found one that matched the description. The others are well wilted. Look, here it is. Chief, we might be able to harvest those berries again. If that's the case, it's all because of Tony and Strife's work. If they didn't go deep inside the cave, we wouldn't know this holy berry existed. Any 
case, the most important thing is that they came back safely. Let's go discuss this back at the village. trapped in the berry cave in ancient times. Can this be it? Back, demon! ability, lock on, by consuming 25 FP, also known as force points. Lock on improves the power of an attack and hits the target more accurately by using it with shot or cartridge. However, while lock on is in use, you are likely to get hit from your opponent. Depending on the situation, you should prioritize your action of attack or recovery. Amazing! He beat such a huge monster! What? What's the matter? Your power! Your power might have caused grave misfortune to this village! I knew it! Go on! Religion speaks of it. It's been forbidden here for a thousand years, an unholy destructive power. Why do you bring such dangerous power to our village? Terrifies me to even think of having such a thing used in our peaceful village. Now I see the earthquake we had. It was caused by you, because you used the arm. If it's true, I'm very convinced. It's because of your arm, the monster in the cave came back to life. It's not true! It can't be! Because he used his power, he saved me! You may be able to deceive Tony, but you can't fool us no longer. Stop it! All of you, stop! Now is it the time for tempestuous debate. Straff, thank you for rescuing Tony. However, the danger you brought to our village and the carelessness used in the bear cave is unacceptable. In our village, we respect peace, and a hassle like your arm is prohibited. Under our law, you must allow us time to decide your fate in this village. Do you have any objections? A 
I'm glad that you respect my decision. I will do my best to reach a verdict that everyone can agree on. I'll go back to Surf Village now. We cannot make a decision here. He did not want such a power, but this destructive might in his arm is the power of the arm. Unaware of his inherent strength, he wanders the wasteland, seeking his place in the world. Alright. Alright, so I, th I wanted to keep this short. Uh, I wanted to get through all the prologues, but... I think maybe I'll just wrap it up here keep this one short and sweet and give a small introduction to the world of wild arms plus i need to think of names for the next two characters so indeed ah there's wonder twin <laughs> so i mean it is an old playstation 2 rpg game so i imagine it doesn't hold up very well compared to most things but what'd you think so far liking it <laughs> Uh, boosted show, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you were so happy about that. Well, let me see here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think I'll probably just wrap it up here. Got the initial introduction out of the way, and uh, and so some of the surprises that'll happen from the oncoming uh, stuff is going to be interesting, I think. So, as you can tell, the next part of our prologue is Treasure Hunter. Not to be confused with Locke. <laughs> okay, so... I have so a feeling you might say that. All right, so if all goes well, maybe I'll do this as kind of like a Monday night thing, just kind of like a, a play and chill. Because um, I got it, I'm starting... I still got to get in touch with Strawberry and find out what day works best for her for Star Ocean so she can be there. And then the other day will be Final Fantasy VI. And Sundays will be Persona 3 days, so... I want to try and keep this one active so I can finish it because I've really been wanting to get to this particular game. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll try and keep this active probably like Monday nights. Um, maybe just something kind of short and sweet, no more than like an hour or two. But you know, this one just went a little over an hour, so I figured that's you know uh, that'll be good. So. Maybe, maybe just for the sake of getting past the prologues, maybe I might try and pick a little more of this up on Wednesday just to finish up the prologues. Because there's, there's still two more prologues before we technically jump into main game. So, <sighs> Okay, so that being said, thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out. Happy Twitch anniversary to me. I know it wasn't anything extravagant or fun like I did last year, but... You know, I'm happy I at least put something out there for it, so... Uh, yeah. So, I will see you guys Wednesday for... Either... Star Ocean or Final Fantasy VI, which... One of those two games will be on Wednesday and the other game on Thursday. So, until then, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I hope you guys sleep well and have fun. And... If you're gaming right now, and I know, well, I can't guarantee you are, but I'm going to assume somebody is. So, to whoever, whoever you are out there in the world, if you're gaming right now, and I know you probably are, remember to game hard or go home. And if you're already at home, clean up when you're done. Uh, yeah clean up when you're done, otherwise it's going to turn into that thing that we just fought in the berry cave, the rotten beast. 
We don't need that running around and breathing and clawing and scratching stuff and yeah. No, we don't need that. Have a good night, guys. Later, y'all.